What's up guys, it's me the Dolphinatic and welcome to week 9, that's right, week 9, after this there's only 2 weeks left of the very first season of the PPL. This week we have RTK, the replacement from the Mighty Mammoth Wine, who left, uh, a f well, quite a while ago now actually, I think it was after week 3. So RTK has put his own uh, foot stamp on this team, and it's a rain team. And so, I'm not expecting him to bring the rain. For many reasons. One, Empoleon can wall the hell out of um, Kingdra. Two, I have Megazam, which can trace swims. Swift swim. Which means it makes it like the fastest thing in existence ever. So, if he does bring it, good for me. If he doesn't, then that's that's also good because there won't be speedy quick things everywhere. Um, anyway, yes, RTK has got a rain team, but since uh, Nick dropped out and RTK came in, uh, there have been a few changes to the squad. Now, last week, luckily for me, he dropped Meowstic, which I was so happy about because that means no pranks to T-Wave on my Zam, so I'm like, cool, fine. Along with some other things he dropped, I think it was Armaldo, and there was something else. Can't remember what. He picked up Honchkrow. And I was like, well, shit. No one likes Honchkrow. So. Honchkrow is definitely the thing I need to take down first. Or, like, the, as soon as possible. So, I have some things that can take it on. First up, we have Raikou. Now, he does have a Mamoswine. But once Mamoswine is gone, uh, the only thing that will appreciate a Thunderbolt is Amoongus. And, you know, Amoongus against Alakazam and Cress. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I have a chance. I have a chance of taking it on. Um, specs, just for that extra power, I've got the Hidden Power Ice, I believe. I was originally going to... I originally had Ice. I forgot what I needed the Ice for. I changed it to Fire, thinking Sizzle. I was actually right. Mm, I'm actually especially defensive. Thunderbolt will do a lot of damage, because, you know, stab and specs. Um, so I figured I'll go HP Ice in case uh, he predicts a switch into... I don't know, in case he... Oh, and it also hits Gudra, but I think Extra Sensory... No, Extra Sensory won't even hit harder. So yeah, Hidden Power Ice is quite useful for Gudra. Can hit Thunderous if he expects to take an electric move, but that's even neutral because it's a flying electric type. So. You know, this thing can do damage once uh, Mamo is gone, and <sighs> Mamo could be a problem, but... I had to play around it. Uh, next up is Megazam. Now, I've made the brave decision of not bringing Timid. Because if I'm Timid Mega Alakazam, I outspeed Max Speed Choice Scarf Mamoswine. Now, the reason why I didn't bring Timid is because if he's a Choice Scarf Mamo, Cress and Empoleon combined take it on really nicely. So, there's that. And. If he's not choice, I can just outspeed. I know I'll have Ice Shard, but if I trace his thick fat, nice, I can I can take the Ice Shard really well. Um, Earthquake, not so much. Um, so I want to get some prior damage off on that Mamoswine. So this is why Rox is key, because he so far has the Mamoswine, and he has the Honchkrow, which is spook. Next is Cress. I originally had Trick Flame Orb on this, then I thought, well, one, Hidden Power Fire, even if he does bring Rain, is going to be doing... It's the only thing that hits Scizor super effective, so I need to get some damage off. Psyshot won't do anything. Thunder Wave, if I want to paralyze it, just to slow it down a bit. Um, can obviously also stop potential game-changing bullet punches later on. Um, Thunder Wave can also help against Honchkrow. Potentially, obviously, with the Sucker Punches and stuff. Um, and Moonlight is like a normal move, because, you know, you have to be recovering health with uh, Cress. Um, I was originally Trick Flame Orb, but then I thought, if he, it's more than likely he'll bring Gudra, and if he brings Assault Vest, then I'll get an Assault Vest, and I won't be able to do much. So, I figured we'll change that, and we'll go Leftovers Bulky. This thing can take on a lot of his team really well, so a lot of hopes on Cress, but we don't know how good Cress is. Next up is Specially Defensive Empoleon, Scald, Raw, Ice Beam, Stealth Rock, Scald, just for the burns. If he brings, um, well, he kind of walls me, if it goes down to one-on-one. -on -one with Empoleon and Politoed if he doesn't have rain. If he has rain, then not so much. Maybe it can swing. I don't know. It'll be close. It'll be whoever gets a burn first, basically. Um, so there's that. Raw, just in case he wants to set up with Scizor, but then again, even Scizor's scary if it has a fighting move. Um, but, you know, if he has a fighting move, we got Crest. It's cool. 
Especially if it's superpower, that would be very nice. Next up, we have uh, Assault Vest, Tangrowth, Brave, because I put Hidden Power Fire on at the last minute, because I realised Sizzle walls the hell out of me. Um, plus, it also hits the Amoongus. Power Whip, Rock Slide, Knock Off. These, just, these can all do damage to a lot of things in his team. Um, Power Whip, as long as I don't miss, is going to be just hitting things so hard. Um, but Regenerator and Assault Vest obviously gives this thing the extra bulk or some extra bulk it needs. Um, and physically, defensively, it, it's amazing. Um, finally, we have Focus Sash, Adamant, Justified, Terrakion. Terrakion can do a lot of things in this match. A lot of things. Or it could have un until, you know, Honchkrow came along. But, um, this thing can take on a lot of things. And I have to play smart, especially if he wants to try and get rocks up. I don't have a Defogger, which is probably a stupid choice. But that's how it goes. Close combat, Zen Headbutt for the Amoongus. Um, if he's specially defensive, I think it does about 80% max. So if I can get some health or some damage off first, he can try and switch into a close combat. If he if it takes it so well, we'll obviously no, it's physically defensive. He doesn't take it too well, even though he's specially defensive. Um, but I have, I'm, I'm relying on Psy Shock. If that Amoongus is physically defensive, I don't even think it can take two Psy Shocks. Um, but we'll see how it goes. So I kind of have to win this game. No pressure on myself. Kind of have to win. But my record has gone loss, loss, win, loss, loss, win, loss, loss. Don't want to speak anything up. Um, but I'm trying something different today. Normally, I have the game sound on, and you'll hear that. That'll be recorded. Um, but I am listening to my own music. I downloaded the ASAP, Rocky, uh, ASAP Rockies at long last um, album. And I'm going to listen to that. You know, I'm just going to try and chill, because the music normally gets me pumped up. So I, I don't know if that, like affects me or not, but I'm going to try listening to normal music, see what happens. So, RTK, if he doesn't bring Mamo, I'll be so happy, because, you know, Raikou has a field day. <laughs> right, so we're challenging, he accepts, oh god, this, oh god, I'm, Jack, just calm down, calm down, as long as I don't get 6-0, I don't care, if I lose 5-0, it's not a 6-0. Shouldn't go in with that mentality though, really. Right, let's go in with music number 4, because it's the gym leader battle one, I think, and I quite like that. Um, let's bring this team. It should be okay, I hope. Any genning errors? No. So, Mamoswine, Guja, Frogadier, Scizor, Honchkrow, and Thunderous. So, no Politoed, no Kingdra. Okay. Frogadier, I can play around. Gudra? Ah, oh, right. I think I'm okay, as long as I can get rid of Mamo quickly. And Honchkrow quickly. So, what I'm going to do is, I am going to. See, the thing is, he could lead off with Frogadier, go for the Ice Beam. He's got a female team apart from Thunderous, which is interesting. Um, so, Mamoswine has got to be his rocks, which probably means he isn't Choice Scar. Um. And probably means he's focused Sash. So I think Cress is probably my best lead here. Oh, nope. Didn't mean to do that. And let's switch into the right. Let's do this. Let's lead with Cress. Good luck. Have fun. RTK. And I'm really sorry because I don't know his proper name. That's bad. Wait, music needs to go on. I need to put something on. Let's actually. I said I was going to listen to ASAP Rocky. Let's put David Getter and Nicki Minaj on. Yeah, that's right. I listen to that kind of shit sometimes. I heard it on the radio. I like it. All right. Mr. Moist. So he does lead off with the Frogadier, like I expected. So he'll probably go for the U turn here, and it will do absolutely nothing. So I'm going to go for the Thunder Wave. I'm wondering what he might go into. He, this thing cannot touch me. He might even go for Toxic Spikes, which worries me no end. U turn, okay. So as long as he doesn't go into Thunderous, I'm happy. He's a bug type. Is he Life Orb? I mean, that does absolutely nothing. Right, so he's choiced. He's choiced. Remember that. That thing's there for Zam. Annoyingly. <laughs> it doesn't go into Thunderous. It's a free Thunder Wave. Oh, unless he goes into Mamo, of course, which he might get the knockoff. Could even go into Scizor. Make the aggressive play. And because he's got Gudra, I wonder if he's gooey. You mad. Sizzle, perfect. The Thunder Wave is lovely. 
So now this thing is really slow. Um, he could go for an... Oh. Oh dear. Right, that might scare him out. I forgot to put leftovers. I, ch I took trick off. Annoyingly. Another misgen for me. That's lovely. Let's give hidden power. Now seeing it's not even hidden power fire. Once Sizzle's gone, that thing, it's lovely. Damage. So as long as he doesn't... Oh, the paralysis is... Oh, that's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Hey, mum, mum, mum. Okay, let's go for a... No is, there a no re is there a reason for me not to? I didn't see what... I forgot what his team was. That's Moonlight. He's gonna switch. He has to. He has to switch. I was meant to put leftovers on this. Nice and misgen for me already. Nice and misgen. He might be thinking I'm Psycho Shift, which I did consider at once. Right at one point. Right, he switches. That's fine. Predictable. Seems so thunderous. Okay. I wonder if he'll taunt me next. Because he might have nasty block. Let's go for Psy Shock. If he's nasty block, it could be spooky. It could be very spooky, but I do have Focus Sash to rack on. Hey, mama, mama. He's thinking. He could even taunt. Right, that song's finished. Three minutes in and we've made like three moves. Oh god. Right. I should really concentrate on the game now, right? Let's put the Ace at Rocky album on and see what he does. Right, he's taking his time, so if the timer runs out, that'd be cool. There's the U-turn, okay. U-turns, that does nothing either, because Cress is a monster. What's he gonna switch into? I don't think anything will take a Psy Shock nicely. Gudra might, maybe. Because Scizor is no longer a switch, because I can just fund the wave, you know. Bullet Punch will not be doing damage to me. Well, it will, it just not much. Um, I'm very glad I made that last minute decision to uh, like switch. He didn't have leftovers on Sis, which makes me think it's a choice one of some sort. So it was reckless that he went into a. Uh, oh man, I imagine if a choice spec sizzle. Lovely. He's taking his time here. Whatever he goes into has to take a side shock. This music's quite calming. Moisturizer. Okay, so he goes into Gudra. Go for the Psy Shock. I am running Psy Shock because obviously Gudra is a bulky mofo and no one likes Gudra at all. So I'm going to go straight into Empoleon. Based on that, it could be Assault Vest. I want Rocks up. Want my rocks up, please, because he's got thunderous sw switching in and out, left and right. It's not pretty. He could be running physical. If he is, then I I cry because you know. Nah, the way he bought that, in, he has to be special. Dragon Pulse. Okay, he played it. He tried to play safe. Okay, Empoleon should eat that. Empoleon should take. Yeah, look at that. Now he has Frogadier, Scizor, Thunderous. He, he didn't have a Moongus, did he? Or did he? There's the Earthquake. I knew he'd have it. Is that too much? No. Can I get burned? That would be lovely. Can I get the burn? Can I get the burn? No. Right, I need to get my rocks up. Right, he might expect my switch into Cress here. 
So he might either switch or change up move. Because Crest obviously has Levitate. I don't know if this thing's gooey yet or not. I'm expecting him to be... Um, probably Sap Sipper actually, because Tangrowth is a thing. And Terrakion though? Oh, Terrakion possibly, I don't know. I should have gone for Ice Beam or Stealth Rocks that turn. I need my rocks up. I need my rocks up. I wanted to stay in and attack me. He's taking his time to think. He is taking his time. Thunderbolt. Okay. So it's super effective. No paralysis or anything that's cool. Stealth rocks are up. I think I might switch into Cress. Because if he wants to give it Earthquake or something, I can I can Moonlight the next turn. This Flame Orb is... Ah. Uh, should have checked. I should have checked. It's my fault. You guys probably all saw that before the game started. You were like, why have you got Flame Orb? It's the Thunderbolt. How much is that going to do? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Thing is though, Dragon Pulse will probably kill me now. So I'm gonna Psy Shock. Oh no, I just realized what I've done. If he has Scarf Mammo, I'm gonna be upset. Let's just put it that way. All because of the burn. Should have been leftovers. He might still be expecting a trick. Right, out speed. I can now bring in Zam and attack. Or even Terrakion. Oh, I lived! Oh, if I had leftovers... Oh, I could have got another hit off if I had leftovers. Could have even Moonlighted. Oh, that was such a bad play. Such a bad play. So he's mixed. So he's minus speed, and so is my... A sub. See if he switches into Honchkrow. If he does, that's perfect. Please switch. Oh, he stayed in. I've revealed substitute. What do we mega before they switch? Can't remember. Can't remember. He's gooey. Okay. Set up my sub. I right, guess the dragon pulse. Okay, I'm gonna side shock this turn. He just wants to free switch into Honchkrow. That's all. That's a dead Gudra. Okay, so now he has a free switch into Crow and he might pursue. So if he brings in Crow, I'm going to sub again. Right, he brings in this thing. So this is Scarfed. 
So he's definitely going for a U-turn. And if he doesn't, he might even go for the Dark Pulse. But the U-turn would definitely kill, so there's no reason. Oh, he does go for the Dark Pulse! He does go for the Dark Pulse. Oh, I could have gone into Terrakion. And I still can go into Terrakion. He could kill with another one. Right, he stays in, so if he goes for a Dark Pulse, I'm happy. This could be Reckless. We'll find out if he's, he is, he's scuffed. Justified Boost might have just won me the game. It might. Now I go for the Rock Polish. Because he might, I might well. If he's not Scarfed, right, he switches. Rock Polish at plus one. Here we go. Bullet Punch. Do I play for the power or not? Oh, he breaks through. Live it. Come on, Taraki, and we can live. Why did I do that? I should've... Ah, oh, I should've switched! It's Life Orb. Oh, that was so stupid! I needed that thing. Flinch, power flinch, go on. Oh, okay. It's not very effective, but it kills. It kills. Could bring in Mamo. And I'll confirm if he's Scar. Honestly, I expect, I expect him to be Sash. He brings in the Mamo. Which surprises me a little. Because he could have had a free switch into the Crow there. This game is not going to end well. I've lost. I should not have lost to Rakyom. I might go for rocks. I'm extra sensory. I am choice specs. He's not Scar, which is good. That is a lot. The earthquake! No! Okay, Raikou's dead. Is that choice banned? Do I sub on the potential switch? He wouldn't. He can sack this thing off, can't he? Can he? Click Dazzling Gleam. Make the switch into Honjko. Do it, you ballsy man. I'm not feeling confident still. I've traced Thick Fat, which means Ice Shard will do about 25%. might want this okay okay that leaves fewer things bring in the frog brings in the frog I want to knock if I can knock the scarf off this the game's not over I'm telling you, if I had leftovers on Cress, if I had leftovers on Cress, this game could have gone so much better. 
And if I hadn't been so stupid with Terrakion, if I'd have just gone straight up close combat, He's got Thunderous, Punch Crow. I'm gonna go for Rock Slide. If it hits, it's a lot right. So the Rock Slide, please connect, please kill something. Predictable. Okay, so that's his hot. Yeah, Thunderous. Rockslide hits. Oh no! Oh, he's leftovers, okay. Oh, he's leftovers, that's annoying. Right, I'm gonna knock off in case he U turns. I'm sure he has like hidden power flying or something. Although he will die to a, uh, another stealth rocks, so. He does U turn here. This knockoff will be so nice. got interesting. U turns! Go into Mr. Moist! Or even Crow. He won't go into Crow because there's another rock slide potentially coming. He goes into Moist here, guys. And he needs Moist more than Crow. So if he goes into Moist, I'm questioning it. Big time. Tangrove doing work once again. This is this is gonna be close. This is gonna be close. Fundy is dead on switch. He has to change moves up again. I could be about to knock off his thing. I click knock off. What's he gonna do? Come on, RTK. Don't leave me hanging like this. Played so bad so far. Is this the time? Show me Mr. Moist. Stello, he goes, oh, he goes into Honchcrow. He knows, he knows. Is the knockoff. Does, that does good damage. The life orb is gone. Brave Bird's most likely going to kill. I can keep sub because oh, I won't be able to get behind the sub. This is interesting. Brave Bird will surely kill from here. I'm not max defense. So unless he switches here. He might sack off Thunderous, not thinking Brave Bird will kill now he's lost the life orb. He's really thinking about it. And Brave Birds, that's gotta kill me, surely. I'm not max defense. Yeah, it does. There's the Moxie, okay. The only way I can win this is if I can get behind a sub. Trace the Moxie. If I had clicked. I'm subbing up. Has he gone Sucker Punch or Brave Bird? Brave Bird, okay. That's the game, I can't win. I he has this. He's got this. The frog is scarfed. No harm in me clicking sub again because he might go for suck punch this time. Go for the Frio. I'm not letting him. 
He keeps looking Brave Bird. God damn it. I wish Brave Bird could miss. <laughs> Thing is, the recoil damage isn't enough. Oh, is he going to kill himself again on this? And sub in again. Oh, if he roosted. Brave Bird again. Okay. <laughs> That's the game. That's going to be a narrow 2 0 because Thunderous is. Well, there's no reason for him to bring it in. He outspeeds with Frog. So he dies to the recoil, which is nice. Uh, but all he has to do is bring in Frog, and that's his game. It's so close once again. Flame Orb on Crest. Co uh, cost me. Cost me so hard. GG RTK. GG. G damn G. Oh, that's annoying. That's so annoying. But good game. Sorry if the commentary wasn't that good. I was trying to concentrate because, you know, I lost again and it's not good. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up. If you did not enjoy it, then please let me know why. But uh, there's probably going to be lots of stupid answers like scissors, shut the fuck up, Jack, or whatever. Um, but otherwise, guys, I will see you next time. Goodbye.